Hey everybody, Matt Johnson here at Laterno University in Thomas Hall. I'm just doing this video because uh, when I got accepted to Laterno and I was told I was going to be in Thomas Hall, didn't exactly know what to expect when I came to the dorms. Looked up some videos and uh, I found one that was okay, but it didn't talk about everything, uh, especially it skipped over storage. So I'm going to try to do a little bit more thorough of a video showing you what Thomas Hall is like. First off, um, Davis Hall has the same layout, except they have carpet over all the floor. Um, a little bit different wall color, but that doesn't really matter. Um, there is a little bit of variation between individual rooms, but this is the primary layout. Um, I'm in room 105 right now. This is the diagram of Thomas Hall. Um, this is where the road goes. The lobby is in here, and then my room is right there, room 105, our windows facing the road. Uh, doors are double locked. Um, my handle's locked from the outside right now, and then there's also a deadbolt you can lock. You have singular light switch here that only operates that overhead light. Towel rack, uh, dish towels, hand towels, whatever you want to put there. Thermostat goes uh, temperature doesn't really matter what the numbers are, just know cold, hot, and then find somewhere in the middle where it feels comfortable. Uh, now bear in mind that I did not clean my room for this, my roommate did not clean his room for this, and neither of us have much time to clean our rooms because I'm a pilot, he's an engineer, uh, so they both have very busy schedules. So this is what the room looks like on a normal day when we're living in it. Um, to your left we have the sink, room for shoes and stuff underneath. Uh, both our trash cans need to go out. As far as sink goes, I mean, it's a sink, what can I say? Um, water here does not taste phenomenal, but it's drinkable. I drink a lot of coffee and tea, so I need to do dishes. One nice tall mirror with the light over top of it. This um, light panel here controls light over the mirror your entryway light and then the light in your main room you have four shelves or four drawers here and then one large cabinet area and here we have everything um, toothbrush toothpaste deodorant toothpicks medicine um, cleaning supplies laundry detergent the tall cabinet, these uh, shelves are very deep. They go all the way to the wall. Um, I normally can't reach those. So we have first aid stuff, um, just a whole lot of random assorted kitchenry. Yeah, you can see there, they're quite deep. We don't use all the shelves, usually just this front area. Uh, we'll get the bathroom last, but there's the door to your bathroom and that connects to the other suite. We just put up um, whiteboard, um, bulletin board, whatever you want to call it. That's just kind of our thing. We have our schedules. When you go to the closet, let me turn the music off real quick. Should have done that before I started the video. Uh, closet is two feet wide or four feet wide by two feet deep I believe I basically brought all of my clothes from home um, yeah I can fit all of them in there no problem I stuck in a foot locker I have plenty of room for tackle boxes my guitar case over on the side nice big deep shelf up top plenty of room in your closet the way that I have it laid out I have my fishing rods in the corner hamper guitar um, each room comes with two of these dressers, three drawers each. They're, uh, I mean, not super deep, but it's enough. A lot of people put mini fridges and things like that on top of their dressers. I put my TV up top for watching TV, playing games. Um, I use it like when I'm writing papers. Basically, I use it this as a monitor for my computer, and I just hook it up with an HDMI cable for that. I have a random chair. It fit there. I put it there. Leaves a nice gap for my backpack, laptop case. 
This is just a footstool that my mom made from an old milk crate. Good storage space inside. Now each room will have uh, one loft kit. Usually after everybody's done moving in, um, another loft kit will go up for grabs and pretty much anybody who wants a second one can get it. So I lofted my bed. I think I'm three pegs down from the top. And underneath my bed, I put my desk and then this little shelving unit that you get. Two of them per room. I have my textbooks on top, food, board games, uh, movies, stuff like that on the second shelf. And the third one down is pretty empty right now. Every room comes with these kind of half rocking desk chairs. They're fairly comfortable. Each desk has two of these little segments to pull out. Yeah, I'm just editing a paper on one right now. A large deep desk drawer, of which mine is absolutely cluttered right now. Plenty of desk space. And then underneath is another um, just kind of storage compartment. Really nice and deep. I have, you know, my joystick, emergency breakfast supply, and then you can't see, but way back in there, I have another set of joysticks and throttle and a whole bunch of random junk in there. I keep my desk fairly well lit. Um, November 1st through Christmas break, you can have like rope lights up. So my calendar says November 2nd. So I'm going to put mine up in the next day or two just for some extra light. I can flip that light over so I can be reading. Um, but yeah. Good tip with lofting your beds is they do shake a little bit. Um, they shake a lot more than this normally. So a lot of people will get um, ratchet straps with little S hooks on the end. And then you run them from corner to corner, tighten them up, and that gets rid of a lot of the wobble. So pro tip right there. As far as up here, I mean, it's a normal bed. What can I say? If you do plan on using your phone as an alarm, uh, like most people do, I would suggest figuring out some way to store your phone. I started off the year with a piece of cardboard under my mattress and then set my phone on top. Um, I mean, it worked, but it wasn't reliable by any means. So one of my engineering friends designed this little apparatus here and used this 3D printer that all the engineers build their first semester to print it off. You just attach the wall with little 3M command strips, um, put your phone in underneath those hooks, and then your charging cable I put underneath with just a couple thumbtacks. You can use the uh, 3M command strip things and then thumbtacks. You can't use normal tape because it'll take the paint off, but I've used that to personalize my room a bit. And finally, Moving on to the bathroom, there is the other suite there. So if I were to walk through that door, I'd go over to my suite mate's room. Each door has towel bars. Uh, I have my cleats drying right now. Shower is very, very basic shower. Nothing special to it. Although I will note that the hot water gets very hot very quickly here which I absolutely love. I mean, bathroom itself, just a small room with toilet and toilet paper. Nothing special. So that's about it. If you have any other questions about the living arrangements here at Thomas Hall, post them in the comments and I'll either submit another video, picture, or just send you a comment back. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and God bless.